Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube lanes, it's your boy Tuglo. Today, we are going to be going over this banner with the Yummified Pitahui. I, I, I just wanted to showcase Pitahui, man. If y'all ain't seen the anime, S-A-O-A-G-G-O, y'all definitely need to give it a look. Shout out to that anime, it's lit. Either which way, we're going to take a look at a rest day for Gunners in-depth banner analysis. I know it's really late, I apologize for that. I'll do my best not to be so late on the next one. Now, as we do see here, I don't know. I don't know where they're going with this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of curious as to what uh, will this be the actual. Um, will this be the actual uh, power creep that is here to stay, or is it going to be something different? I don't know just yet. So we have the SS3 is going to stun attack. With a required MP of 100, not the normal, what is it, 120. And then, you know, you, you get all your MP reduction, it goes down to 108. Then you need 324 to get three of them off, right? Now you just need 300 to get it off for three SS3. So, that is very juicy. Then we do have the skill slot, has the combo speed up, uh, caps out at 50. We do have the attack plus 10%. For water elements only as long as one of these characters are your party leader and then we do have the 11 time uh the multiple is going to be 50 percent off i haven't done it yet uh, i was farming very slowly some uh md so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have for these units i'm very excited so as uh we do see here we do have land at 3800 attack and 2900 crit as you can see her combination partner is going to be anybody that is water element moving on to pizza pizza yummy mm. we got 3900 attack and 2700 crit well, then we do have the same thing combination is going to be water then last but not least we do have a fuka zero haven't seen her in the anime she's actually coming up in the next episode it's really cool uh i'm not gonna say anything spoilers i'm not gonna say who it is or anything like that but she's coming up in the next episode i'm hyped to see what she's gonna do uh we do have her with 3900 attack and 2500 crit and same for her combination is going to be the water element. I'm very excited to do the skill trial for these characters. I had a lot of fun with it. I uh, just kind of like seeing what all they can do. Things of that nature. So let's go ahead and do it. As you can see here, we do have the auto approach is going to be turned off. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. Right here, we do have that. Hey, we going all the way. We going all the way out from back here. And we're going to teleport right behind. We're going to dash right behind you. And we are going to just... With the with the water gun, man. I like, dude. I really like this a lot. Uh, the damages, however, I'm not seeing anything that's hitting over 10,000. And we're up close to 100 um, on our combo. So, uh, it is cool. I do love that animation a lot, a lot. It's perf. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and check out Pitohui. Yummy. Uh, right here, we're going to use her SS3. She's going to hit five times from far away. Then she's going to jump over some salt over you. It's pretty cool. I do like that a lot. It looks very, very pretty. And the blue on Pitohui. You know, y'all know blue is my favorite color by now. Yes. Yas. Yas. Uh, again, with Pitohui, kind of hard to tell. But... Uh, not really seeing anything that's hitting even over 8,000. Just seeing a bunch of 7,500s. Oh, there we go. Found our first 8,600 right there. So, uh, you know, uh, she, she, she's, she's, yes, she's looking good. She's looking good. I like her. I like her. Then we're going to check out uh, Fuka Zero for our last character. Now, one thing with Fuka Zero is that she does not have a dash or a teleport or a somersault over the unit. She's just going to straight up just hit you where you are and just knock you out uh whether she knocks every single uh enemy into the air or not i'd assume is different especially for the high health mobs uh, i think she's just gonna attack them maybe get a little bit of uh anime or uh frame lock rather than knocking the actual unit into the air i, I couldn't see her doing that to to a ranking event that'd be kind of silly but uh yeah same thing with her 
not really seeing anything that's hitting over 10,000. Uh, I will say... Okay, so we got 9,000 at 61. That's not bad. That's not bad. So, uh, let's go ahead and just jump straight into the numbers and see what they have to say. Uh, starting off, we do have the C slash 2 DPS right here in the top left-hand corner of the Google um, tab that you see. Then we'll go ahead and start with uh, the DPS. We do have Pitahui uh, with the most DPS out of everybody and it kind of does make sense her animation just looks extremely fast Len coming in second then Fuka Zero coming in third however for damages we do have Fuka Zero coming in first Len coming in second and then Pitahui coming in third so Fuka Zero is definitely dealing out the biggest of deeps and I gotta agree man she does look like she's having a lot of fun throwing them grenades and all that stuff. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at each character. We're going to start out with Fuka Zero. As we can see here, she does have that skill duration of 2.15 seconds then. Once you hit that 50 combo or higher, it's going to be 1.72. Her combination second starts at 0.93 seconds. So, she switches in and out very quickly with her combo partner. She does have the hit count at 10, and it's canceled out at 10 as well. Next, we're going to take a look at Len. She does have the 1.8 seconds, or 1.86 skill duration, excuse me. And then she does have, at 50 hits, it's going to be 1.48. Her combination second is going to be a 1.21 relative, you know, compared, not, not relative, compared to uh, Fuka Zero much slower but you know it's still very quick in and of its own then we do have the uh the hit count at 13 but she cancels out at nine i do man that's one stat right here this stat right here i feel is so underrated is the uh oh where we go is this hit count at canceled i love that stat right there then for pito hui we do have a skill duration of 1.7 seconds. Then our skill duration at 50 is going to be 1.3 seconds. The combination at 1.28. The slowest of them all. Feels bad, man. Then her hit count is going to be 11 hits total on her SS3. And then at cancel, it's going to be 9. So after 9 hits, she will switch off to her combination partner just like Lynn will do now if you do have any of these characters you will want to go land into fuka zero or pitahui into fuka zero assuming you have those three uh if you have fuka zero uh by herself you know you're just gonna have to use her and just and just deal with it but uh the the biggest stat of them all especially where we're going to use these characters the most is going to be in ranking events versus those high health bosses and mobs and fuka zero is is just, whoosh, she's way out there compared to everybody else as far as the capacity is concerned she does have the highest capacity compared to the other two then it's len in second and then pitahui in third now overall what unit is going to be the best i truly believe it's going to be fuga zero fat damages huge capacity definitely cannot overlook that however the most balanced or well-rounded character is going to be len and then if you at least get one character and you know you definitely don't want to be mad with it pitahui is going to be the yummiest character out of the entire banner that, that's just me you know what i'm saying but uh even if you get her she's still going to be very solid that 100 mp ss3 is definitely a fantastic fantastic thing and that i feel like that can't be overlooked do i believe that you should scout on this banner definitely hit up your 125s man uh we have had a decent bit of water units uh a lot of them uh to be honest with you but if you're just starting out or you don't have a lot of water units for whatever reason maybe definitely scout this banner uh that 100 mp i cannot get over the 100 mp to me that's just straight up fantastic and uh that, that, that's all I gotta say about that, man. There's not much to say. It's clear cut and to the point. Fuka Zero, Lin, and then Pitahui. Just the way we got it lined up right here. Now, uh, for me personally, you know, I gots to do it to it. Uh, I am gonna hit this uh, this 125. Um, 
I feel like getting one of these characters would just be hella fun, man. It'd be hella fun to just play with these characters, running around, running and gunning, and then just using their SS3s. I don't believe that that's Pitahui's actual size. I feel like in the anime, they're bigger, but that's just me making my complaints for Pitahui. Either which way, we did get the sparkle, so we know we get a four star, potentially a five star if they want to bless me. Let me see what I get today. A dupe! It was actually a dupe, dang. That's unfortunate, dude. So we did get uh, Yukata Rain. Uh, I will definitely try to um, farm up some more diamonds, try and pull on the Pitahui. I did miss out on the land. I'm perfectly fine with that. Pitahui right here, dude. I'm telling you. Oh, yes, sir. <sighs> Scrum did the umptious. Either which way, guys, that's all I got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it well. I hope you're having a great day or great night. Whatever day of time, time of day it may be for you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. That's all I got for this one. And as y'all know, that's the fat lady singing. That's the bells are ringing. And until the next video, I hope you have an awesome day. And I will see you in the next one. God bless and peace out.